Hey guys, so I wanted to do um, a what's in my purse um, video. I haven't done one of these I think in about two years and the first one was um, super awkward, <laughs> like really awkward. I don't even know if it's still on my channel. Um, but anyways, I wanted to do an updated one. This is the purse that I currently have. It is a Dooney and Burke. I got it from the outlets when I was in um, Vegas because they're super cheap. I think this was only like $100. And um, it looks like this and has big long straps, which I personally prefer. I don't like to hold anything on my arm. I just, I think that's weird. And I don't like it. So I had to have the one that goes on my shoulders and it just has a little open, a little button like this. And then that's the inside. It, the thing is huge. So, all right, normally um, my phone will be on the side pocket, but I'm recording with my phone, so that's where that is. And now I have my um, my makeup bag. It's a little Victoria's Secret one that my friend got me for Christmas. And I have a ton of stuff in there. I've got this CoverGirl lip gloss, the nude color. I have a little e.l.f. lipstick, nude, because I love nude. Um, my concealer this is the Almay one. This is the medium. The, this is my favorite concealer, especially when I wear sunglasses and I get like those little indents right here. I always use this to cover that up and it works perfect. This is the Buxom lip gloss. It's almost, well, no, it's not almost. It is gone. <laughs> um, this is in Samantha. I need a new one. Um, I can still get a little bit out of it, but I'm still, I'm going to use it for every little bit that I can. Um, Carmex uh, chapstick because it's my favorite. Um, Maybelline lip gloss. These are amazing and they smell so good. This one just smells like happiness and it's in the color, I don't know, number 25. Oh, mauve something, but it's number 25. Butter gloss by NYX. This is Eclair. Amazing. And baby lips. It's the Dr. Rescue one. This is okay. Um, I like the color, but I mean, it does absolutely nothing for your lips, but I mean, whatever. And then I got this at, um, just a little store by my house. Um, and it's just a little, the LA girl, it looks like the, um, I think, I don't remember, I don't remember the brand that just came out with one similar to this, but, um, yeah, this is okay. Um, when it dries, it starts to look really weird on your lips. It was only a dollar, so I mean, it's not like I can really complain. And then little hand sanitizer in Sweet Clementine. I love that. I have a million hand sanitizers. I stocked up on them during Christmas. And then a MAC lipstick. And this is in the color Snob. <laughs> it's normally like a really bright pink, but I um, have been mixing lipsticks with it, so the top of it kind of looks a little not like a really pretty pink. Um, just a mirror that I carry. It's like a little crappy one. And then the last one is another, and this is um, Viva Glam 2. And this is a dark brown. I love this color. Beautiful. And then I just have my um, eyeglasses case. They're Vogue. And they're not in here because um, I just left them in my bathroom because I wear them at night. So if I ever want to take them, though, I have the case and then they're in the bathroom. I have a little date planner for 2015. Um, I wanted to start using it to write down stuff rather than putting it in my phone because I normally hated putting it in my phone. But I went from an iPhone to the Galaxy S5. And I love the calendar on this. It's so much easier to work than the um, one for the iPhone. I think the iPhone 1 sucked, but that's just my opinion. So I kind of really don't need that anymore. I'm just going to toss that. Um, I'm the queen of, like, hoarding receipts. Like, I don't, even, I don't even know where those are from. And then I have, have lotion in Moonlight Path. And then another lotion in A Thousand Wishes. This is so good. Um, and then my last lotion, which is the Hawaii one. And that's almost gone. <laughs> I think it's kind of ridiculous now how much stuff I have in here now that I'm going through it. Um, 
oh, these are just checks from my work because I wasn't there when they passed them out. So they had to give them to me later. This is my um, wallet. I'm oh, no, I didn't. In the last one, I showed like some fake Louis Vuitton one that I got when I was on vacation. This is a um, Juicy Couture one. I've had this for years. I've had it for years. It's in <laughs> amazing condition. The only thing that's happened is like the little tag thing that was here. Um, fell off. That's about it. And other than that, it's still going strong. And, uh, let's see. That's, I mean, the thing is really spacious. And then it has a little zippy compartment here. And I just put all my change in there. And then all of my cards. And then this opens. I don't think I have anything in here. Nope. But, um, I got this at Nordstrom Rack. I, I swear probably five years ago. And I've been using it ever since. Um, let's see. I have, I got this. I'm sure probably everybody got this. Like if you go to Mac, it was a little, um, merchandise thing for $10. <laughs> I guess they had a lawsuit or something. So they gave me $10, like a little card. I haven't used it yet. I kind of forgot I had it. So I put it in my purse in order to use it. And then I've got for Christmas, I got, we got gift cards from work. I have one of them. Um, I think that's from a vendor. I have one of them from a vendor, and then the other one was for my boss. My boss gave us gift cards. And I have a Trader Joe's gift card that I don't, I haven't used at all, I think. Um, so that's there for me. To, I don't ever really go there, but I think I should because I want a couple of things from Trader Joe's. Um, my coworker gave me some of these little samples of perfumes. Um, I put my own in here. I had the Ellie Saab one, but I already own that and it's amazing. And the other one was the Marc Jacobs. Daisy by Marc Jacobs, I think. It's the black one. Oh my Lord, it smells, uh, it smells phenomenal. I don't have it yet, but I will own that perfume soon. I wanted to use the sample first before I bought the actual perfume. And then just a little, um, holder. I think that we all can guess what <laughs> normally goes in here. Uh, just keep it with me at all times. Um, oh, I had a receipt for stuff I needed at the grocery store. But I don't need that anymore. I have a little pen from Planet Hollywood in Vegas. Burger. That place is so good. Oh man, really good. Um, just a little travel case with some nail clippers and a nail file because I am, my nails were longer and then I broke one, then I broke another, and then I cut them all because I want them all the same size. So there's this one in case I ever need it. Um, I don't really know what the, oh, I was in, um, ah, I was in LA and I was at the mall and some guy was like returning a bunch of these purses that he bought. They bought, it feels like the entire store and then they were trying to return them. I don't know what the purpose of that was, but I think they were like buying the um, on sale items and then they were selling them in their store for like full price. Shady, but he gave us this card. I don't even, just in case anyone cares, that's his name and his information. Go for it. Probably get some super cheap sunglasses and purses. Um, movie ticket for Unbroken. Amazing movie. I don't know. Oh, what is this? It's a Bath and Body Works. $10 off any purchase of $30 or more. Oh, until December 21st. That's gone. Another pen. Oh, this is the Ellie Saab, Ellie Saab one. Dude, if you guys love perfumes, this is probably my ultimate, like, all-time perfume. It smells absolutely amazing. But you can only get it, I think, at Nordstrom. I got suckered into that. It's a, it's a, luxury perfume it's a little expensive in my opinion it's a little expensive but I mean whatever you can't get it at um, Macy's or like Sephora I already checked um I love me some equal so I don't oh I was sick and I was drinking tea and I think I had that to bring with me to work um my favorite all-time powder is the NYC it's the smooth skin one this I'm in the shade naturally beige But yeah, this, I mean, it keeps me matte all day. I just, I don't ever use these, but because like if I'm at work or something, I just keep it in here because I don't carry a brush. I mean, that's just 
that's excessive and that's way too much. Um, oh, another nail file for one of our vendors, Park West Landscaping. Cheers. <laughs> another pen. Um, and another pen. And I was using this Aquaphor stuff for my tattoo when I got it over um, Thanksgiving break. I was in Texas with my brother's girlfriend, and we went and got tattoos. And she gave me this little mini one to take home with me. And I've had it in here all this time. Not anymore. And then I've got, hmm, let's see, oh, a hair clippy. And then, so that's, and then this thing, I have my sunglasses in it, which are now in the car. And just like some gum wrapper. So that's all that's down in the bottom. And then over here, I just have this passport thing. This was for the Swarovski crystal. I don't know if this is still good anymore. Um, but each time you, I didn't know they had my picture in there. Each time you buy something, dude, I look a little different. <laughs> Um, each time you buy something, they like stamp, they stamp stuff in there. Like, we, I don't know if they're still doing that or not. Cause I haven't been by there in months. And then what's this, oh, I went and got my, um, my vision done at Costco and this is the paperwork for it. Now I just need to go get the contacts, but you know, there's that a band aid and more equal. And then just a bunch of like little hair clips for myself when I'm out if I need a mitt work. And then uh, my keys to the um, on-site office that I work at. And then normally, normally the um, cell phone would go right here. And then right here I just have gum. This side right here, this pocket, used to hold all of my, um, my lip gloss until my friend gave me the Victoria's Secret bag. Now I just put it all in here. And that is it. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I like these kind of videos. Maybe I might do a couple more of them, but if you stuck through this entire video and you enjoyed it, thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.